Okay, welcome back Gauchos, and today you get your first look at our brand new Lenovo ThinkPad Chromebooks. Um, and we're going to go through some important differences that you're going to notice between these and the uh, Samsungs that we used last year. So if you're a returning student, you could probably list 20 or 30 things about the Samsungs that we really didn't like. Um, number one on the list was that they were very fragile. Um, the ThinkPads are not fragile. Um, we're going to start with the charger. The first thing you notice about the charger is that it has this great long um, Velcro strip that will hold the cord together um, with the charging brick. You'll also notice that on the charging brick you will find a barcode that we've placed on there um, that has a plastic protector on it. This is the number, the barcode that identifies the charger um, and tells us who it's checked out to. If you check this in at the end of the year without the barcode on it, you will get charged the entire cost of this device. So you want to make sure you take care of that. If you see it peeling off, if it's getting rubbed, uh, if it's becoming unreadable, you need to bring it into the library and let us know. Um, so the barcode number is very, very important. You need to make sure you take care of it. Um, the serial number barcode on the back we're not so much worried about. Um, there is a barcode label on the um, cord. We're not worried about that one either. Um, we're worried about the one that we put the plastic cover on. You'll also notice that on the charger, um, the um, plug is much thicker, much tougher. It will not bend unless you abuse it. Um, so if you if you take if you just take care of your your um, charger and your Chromebook, you shouldn't have any problems with these things breaking. Um, anyway, that's the charger. Um, this is how everyone should wrap up their charger. Just fold up the cord, wrap it around with the Vel Velcro strip. Okay, let's take a look at the Chromebook real quick. Um, on the outside you'll notice the MUHSD logo embossed on it. Um, uh, you'll also notice that it says uh, in the one corner Lenovo, that's the company, and then it says ThinkPad in the other corner, which is their their laptop brand. Um, some things you'll notice on the outside, number one, this is a much tougher device. It's thicker. Um, unfortunately, it is heavier, but it will make it a lot tougher. It has a rubber bumper around the side. Um, which will help keep it help it absorb impact, um, which shouldn't happen anyway. Um, on uh, the right side of the device, you'll notice that there is an SD card reader, which is standard on Chromebooks. There's an HDMI port, which is nice because you can hook it up to a high definition television or projector. There's a USB 2 port, which is uh, which will let you put in a USB drive. This is the charging port where the charger plugs in. Um, and there is even what they call a Kensington locking port. You can buy a cable lock for this. So if you're working in public, say at Starbucks, and you need to run to the bathroom, um, you can lock this to a table or a chair so no one can walk away with it. Um, on the other side of the device, you will see a VGA port. Um, this lets you hook up to a standard monitor um, or a projector, which the uh, Samsungs do not have. Uh, next to that, you see some vents, which are important to keep unblocked so that air can flow through. Um, and then you will see two USB 3.0 ports. Um, these are nice because not only can you plug in a USB drive, you can use them to charge your other devices if the Chromebook is plugged into the wall. There is an Ethernet port, so if you're trying to connect to the Internet and there's no wireless, but there is a, a plug-in in the Internet, um, that will work there. Um, and then this is the headphone and US uh, headphone and microphone jack. You notice that on the back of the device there are no ports. Um, this is all solid. Um, you don't have to worry about dirt getting in there in your in your backpack. You also notice that the hinges are very very sturdy. So when I go to open the Chromebook, um, it actually is a little bit harder to open. I have to push a little bit harder on it. Um, on the screen, you won't notice any differences. It's a Chromebook. It runs the Chrome operating system. It logs in the same way as the Samsungs do. Um, so there, there's not really much explanation needed there. Um, 
If it does not come on automatically, there is a little power button in the upper right hand corner that you can push to turn it on. Um, but otherwise the screen is exactly the same. And you'll notice that it boots just as fast, if not faster than the Samsung's. Um, the Lenovo has a faster processor and more memory than the Chromebooks we were using last year. Some big differences though in the keyboard and on the touchpad. So first of all, um, the touchpad um, is kind of ugly. Um, it doesn't look as nice as the Samsung's, but it does everything the Samsung does. It controls the mouse. You can click, you can two finger click, you can two finger scroll, you can do all those tricks. You'll also notice on the ThinkPads that there is this little red button in the middle of the keyboard. This is a joystick and it does the same thing as the, as the touchpad. It controls the mouse. Um, why it's there, I don't know, because I don't know anyone who likes it. Um, but the one nice thing that comes along with that is these two buttons. Um, you do get a left and a right click button. Um, and if you used a PC, you know how nice those are. If you used a Mac, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, but that right click button is really nice to have if you're copying and pasting and it will work with the touchpad. This third button in the middle just seems to be a left click button. Um, if it does something else and you can figure it out, please let me know. I'll give you a piece of candy uh, for teaching me something new because I don't know why that's there. Um, on the keyboard, you'll notice some, some nice additions or some nice, uh, some, some nice retro pieces that we didn't have on the, um, on the Samsungs. Number one is the cap lock key. Um, it is back and the cap lock key is always nice to have. On the Samsung, it was replaced with the search key, but on the Lenovo, they've managed to put both on there. Um, so you don't need to reprogram the search key to, um, to be a cap lock key. There is also this mysterious little diamond key. Um, this can be programmed to do different things. Um, again, if you can show me something new that I don't know, I'll give you a piece of candy. Um, what can you program that, that diamond key to do? Um, across the top row of keys, you'll see standard Chromebook keys, which let you, you know, increase brightness, switch between windows, take screenshots, etc., etc. When you get over to the right, though, you see some some uh, some nice PC keys that we've missed for a while. Um, there is a home key and there's an end key. So if you're typing and you want to go to the beginning of the line, um, you don't need to use the arrow keys. You can just click on home and it'll go right to the first character. Um, likewise, if you want to go to the end of the line, you click the end key. Um, you'll also notice that we have uh, back the delete and the, the backspace key. Um, on the Samsungs and on most other Chromebooks, you just have backspace. So if you want to delete, you have to use the alt backspace. Now on the um, Lenovo, you have the actual delete key back. And one key that none of the other Chromebooks have is um, this little padlock key. This is the screen lock key. So say you need to go up to the board to uh, demonstrate something for your teacher and you don't trust the kids sitting next to you, you hold down that lock key for just a couple of seconds and it will lock your screen and no one can get into your Chromebook without your password. Um, so those are really the important differences that you're going to see between the um, Lenovo and the Samsungs. Um, I would like to remind students that um, the Lenovo that you get this year is the one that you're going to keep until you graduate. So at the end of the school year, you will turn in this Lenovo. We will put your name on it. We'll hold it for you for the summer. And then in the fall, we're going to give you the same Lenovo back. So you want to make sure you take extra good care of it so that it doesn't get damaged. Um, uh, it's also important to remember that we that uh, the Worth Avenue Group offers insurance for only $28 a year. It covers everything except intentional damage. Um, you need to remember, too, that this is a Merced Union High School district.